folks. I had a slight technical issue with um, the first Facebook and I wanted to add a bit of colour to my uh, <laughs> the look of me today because uh, it is a horrible, miserable, rainy, wet day. Um, so I thought I'd add a bit of colour to myself. What do you think? If the blue suits me. Well, in fairness now, you've probably seen me wearing turquoise a lot. It's my favourite colour. I can't help it. So um, anyway, welcome to day three of five days of momentum. I am... Um, I'm really excited to be here and I'm hoping that you have uh, been taking the challenges on board uh, so far. Um, so day one was all about your message and really committing to being consistent with sharing your message on a regular basis. Um, so I hope that's going well for you because <clears throat> I really want to see you guys getting out there and sharing your message. So what I would love to see is, you know, in the comments box below, you know, tell me what have you been doing? Um, how have you been taking on board this, um, the challenge of day one, you know, being consistent with your message. Day two was all about being focused on your money makers. So how's that going for you? Like do, when you uh, did the activity, did it kind of um, open your eyes about um, what, you know, where you're focusing your attention? You know, are you putting offers out that relate to actually the offers that you have got in your business? Or are you kind of a bit scattergun and all over the place? For those of you that are watching live, please do comment below. And for those of you that are going to be watching the replay, then, you know, please comment as well, because I'd love to hear, because I think this is one of the biggest challenges that we have is that we, we get so busy doing lots and lots of things. And I know I'm just as guilty as an next person of like looking at my list and just going, oh, I'll do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And sometimes we put off the things that we know will really help but we don't want to do it for a specific reason and good old procrastination kicks in and um hey Philomena how are you lovely great to have you here um you know procrastination kicks in and then you're like oh I think I might have a cup of tea or I might go and oh I, I need a break I've been very busy this morning and you're like so thinking I don't know what I've done so far um so that's the thing that you know when you are really focused on what needs to get done you will get it done. So day one, you know, it's almost like you're kind of, as you're going along this journey of the five days that you're thinking, okay, have I been consistent with my message? Have I shared my message today? Um, you know, am I focused on my money makers? You know, have I, am I promoting a particular offer? Like, you know, if, I wouldn't say that you want to have lots and lots and lots of offers, but you know, if you have say three key things that you offer on a regular basis, then that allows you to then plan and be very deliberate about how you're promoting those, what you're putting in your blog posts. And this is really important, I think, from day two's activity, that when you know what it is that you're focused on uh, promoting to your audience and your community, um, then what happens is that every time you write a blog post, every time you do a video, every time you have a meme or anything like that, uh, you know, you do a live, you do a podcast or anything like that, what you're talking about is those offers, you know, so it could be, you know, book a discovery call, book a, a strategy session, um, you know, fill in this questionnaire, um, you know, uh, buy my product here. You know, you know what to put at the end of the blog post, because every time you create a piece of content and a piece of marketing, there needs to be a call to action. Some the person who's looking at your stuff, listening to your stuff, watching your stuff, reading your stuff, needs to know what the next step has got to be. But if you're not clear on what that next step is, then they're not going to be clear either. So Dipsy's saying, out on the road, but still tuning in to hear your message. Busy or busy? I am focused. Excellent, Dipsy. Good woman. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the thing. I, I can't remember which video I said this on, but I feel like I'm the anti-hustle crowd. You know, I don't like this constant hustle, hustle, hustle hard message. Um, but when we do have limited time, you do need to be very focused. And today's challenge, some of you might get a little bit antsy about it. And I'm going to warn you that you might get a little bit antsy about it because I know that it would make me antsy. But it is something that will really help you to grow your business and so, yes, it will make you feel uncomfortable. I know well it'll make you feel uncomfortable because this is an area that people struggle with the most. And, you know, I've had my own personal challenges with this. Um, and I kind of had to just tell myself to, to get ready because if I want to have a thriving, profitable business, then there are things that I have to do that allow me to grow and to allow me to stretch that comfort zone. And nowhere is this more true than what I'm going to be sharing with you for day 
three. So you're probably sitting there going, get on with it, Yasmin. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to know what it is. Okay, so here's what you need to be doing. Day one was all about sharing your message. Day two was all about being very clear and focused on your money makers. Day three, what I want you to be thinking about, and remember, this is about tiny steps done consistently. Every day, 10 minutes out of your day needs to be focused on instigating connections with somebody, somebody in your community, uh, whether it's an email, whether it's a Facebook message, um, somebody that maybe has potentially expressed interest in your um, offers, maybe they've liked a post of yours. What I want you to be thinking about is how can you connect with somebody? Now, I know this causes huge amount of resistance for want of a better word. I think that's probably the best word, actually. Resistance is massive when it comes to this. And I know I felt the resistance too. And I've literally just have to push through because here's the thing. We can stay in our own little comfort zones. We can stay in our own little comfort area. Um, but it's when you actually reach out and connect with people. And I can't remember. That I did a Facebook Live on this around um, a really important thing to remember when you are um, <clears throat> doing sales calls um, or, you know, instigating connections is to let go of the outcome, to be detached from the outcome. So when you're kind of, you know, messaging somebody, you're not going in there saying, I am selling, I am a horrible person, I'm sleazy, I can't believe I'm about to do this, I'm disturbing somebody and they're going to hate me and they're going to think I'm a real pest and blah, blah, blah. No. <clears throat> And this is a mindset that I've really worked on for myself because I've had people following up with me. And I will admit the first few times I was like, oh, Jesus, what do they want? You know, they're just looking for a sale. And as a business owner, I've had to really work on my own mindset because now I actually congratulate those follow ups with me because I say you are doing a really good job here even if I'm not interested, and I will often send, send, send a message back and say, listen, I'm not, uh, I'm not in the market for that right now, but thanks so much. And I am now putting out the energy that I want to receive back. So I've got somebody who's, you know, texting me a lot at the moment and I'm saying, you know, thanks so much for the follow-ups. I'll talk to you, um, you know, in a few months time when I'm ready to have that conversation. But I think this is really important that because if you are, if you have that mindset that, oh God, that, you know, they're bothering me or why they keep, uh, you know, pestering me. That's the energy that you get. Back. So it really is about us showing up in the world the way that we want to um, be seen and, um, and really putting out the energy that we want to get back. Okay. And I think that's a really good way of explaining it because it makes it so much easier then. Because if you're the one who's you know, looking at somebody messaging you and saying, oh, they want to sell me something. God, why would you do that? Why? Instead of having that reaction, you know, if you have the reaction of, oh, that's interesting. I'm not really in the market for that. So I'm just going to say thank you, but not right now. And in your mind, congratulate them for the follow up, because I now really appreciate people following up with me. You may have heard this story before, but last year I was in a mastermind group and the only reason that I joined that mastermind was because the woman who was running it sent me a message and said, do you want to have a chat about it? And I went, yeah, do you know what? I hadn't thought about it. I wasn't in the market for a mastermind. Um, I hadn't even, you know, considered it. And I certainly hadn't considered working with this particular lovely woman. Um, but when she messaged me, I went, yeah, why not? And, and then I joined her nine month mastermind. And, you know, it was a brilliant, brilliant opportunity for me. And so it's about us not closing ourselves off and then having that energy mirrored back to us. So I think this is a really important mindset piece because when you are, you know, making those connections, you're, um, you know, following up with the people that you've already connected with, um, you know, because if you've only just sent one email or sent a message and then not gone back to them, then, you know, you need to go back and follow up with those people. But when you're doing that with an open heart, you're being you're detached from the outcome, then you will get that energy mirrored back to you. I promise you, you will get that energy mirrored back to you. So this is what you need to be thinking about. And what you need to be planning into your diary is every day, for just 10 minutes, is look for three people that you can connect with. And if three people is too much of a stretch, go for two, minimum one, okay? 
every day. So at the end of every week, you'll have reached five people or 15 people if you've gone for those three people. And when you're struggling to think of who else to connect with, you know, go back. You've probably got a masses of connections in your LinkedIn contacts, your Facebook uh, group, you know, people that you have maybe interacted with at some stage, you know, but, you know, if you're doing Facebook lives, then look at, see who is talking to you on the Facebook lives. But really, I think this is so important. This is how you build business. And I have to say that one of the things that I really fell into the trap of was like, oh, I haven't got this big community. I haven't got a big community. I haven't got a big community. And I just thought, get over yourself, okay? We build our communities one by one by one. No overwhelm. You're not trying to be, you know, um, you know, you're not trying to be an overnight success because there are no, there's no such thing as an overnight success. It's these small, tiny steps done consistently that will get you to that critical mass point. You know, there will be a tipping point. And the reality is you're not doing it just one by one by one, because every time you do that, you take that step. It's like the universe takes a hundred steps for you as well. But you've got to show up and you've got to take those steps. And I really do believe this. Now, this is something that I want to really emphasize with you for this. You may not get responses back from the people that you've connected with. People, not everyone gets back to you. Actually, the majority of people won't get back to you. I know that for a fact, okay? But don't let that dishearten you because this is the really cool thing that I want you to really take to heart, okay? When you put, you know, when you start connecting with people, other people start to connect with you. And even though the people that you've talked to and that you've messaged and, you know, you said, hey, how are you getting on? They may not respond to you but what you're doing is you're sending out ripple waves and they're touching other people and they are then magnetized to you. So even if, say for example, you sent a message to Jane today, whoever Jane is, and you send a message to Jane, Jane doesn't respond, but Alexander over there, I don't know who the flip Alexander is, but Alexander over there connects with you. You know, you send out five messages this week and you have 10 people join your list. This is really important and I can't stress this enough and this has been true for me in my business and I've seen it happen for other people. Fix your mind about the fact that you're not visible or that people aren't seeing you um, or that they don't know that you're there or that you haven't got the clients that you want. You're getting stuck into this little world of yours and you're like thinking oh nobody's hearing me I'm not visible I'm not visible but it's up to you to take that first step to being more visible. And that could just simply be an email. Um, you know, I know people talk a lot about picking up the phone um, and, you know, I, I don't do cold calling. I never do cold calling. That is not the way that I want my business to run. So, you know, I might send out a Facebook message or it could be that somebody just signs up to my list or gets a free gift. If somebody has taken a free gift from me, that's a great opportunity to open up the conversation. How did you find it? Did you find it useful? What would you like to see? You know, again, it's going in with that air of curiosity, the spirit of curiosity and just having a conversation. That's all it is, because, you know, I've got pe I've had people in my community who've been in my community for a couple of years before they've ever taken a step of connecting with me, you know, face to face or, you know, becoming a client. And that's OK, because I know that that's sometimes that is how long it takes other people. <clears throat> It takes them no time at all, which is fantastic. Um, but other people, it just takes a bit longer. But what you're trying to do is you're building that no fact, the no like and trust factor. And once people can trust you and they really sense that, you know, you have their best interests at heart. So it's not just about making that sale. You know, I used to work in a call center and, you know, one of the most frustrating things about working in that call center was that, you know, you'd have literally like a shopping list of like five different products that you would offer to that person irrespective of whether they needed it or not that was not good selling good selling would be to know your customer and say actually there are two products that I think would be really really valuable to you right now and they'd appreciate that but when you're sitting there going oh you don't want that one let's let's what about this one you don't want that one okay what about this one what about this one what about this one I had a conversation recently with my father-in-law about health insurance here in Ireland and you know 
my in-laws are in their 70s and you know god love them they've had their you know their health challenges and things and it's really interesting because when they ring up to you know talk about negotiating their package and things and one of the things that he always says to me is like I'm not going to need the maternity benefits. We're not going to need the maternity benefits. You know, they've got 10 grandchildren now. <laughs> you know, we're not going to need that. So can you just take that off? And does that have an impact? No, we, we leave that on. Like, it doesn't make any sense. They're not going to need it. You know, so it's, you want to have that approach in your mind. You know, when you're, you know, yesterday, day two was all about your money makers. So when you're having conversations with people, you know, make sure that you're tailoring your offerings, you know, because you might have a, you know, oh, I want them to buy this program, but actually it's not suitable. And sometimes I've said that to someone else, like, actually, I don't think this is the right thing for you. Um, and what about this? And they're like, oh, actually, that sounds like it's going to be more suited for what I need. And that's what this is all about. This is about creating meaningful connections with people. So that's your challenge for today is I want you to allocate 10 minutes every day to instigate a connection or follow up you know, make, keep a track of this stuff. You know, I keep an Excel spreadsheet, just really simple. Who have I talked to? What did we talk about? So that, you know, when you're looking back six months time, you're not sitting there thinking, I can't remember what this was about. You know, how did you leave it? Are they, you know, do they want you to come back to them in a few months, you know, schedule that in so that, you know, you can see in your diary uh, of when to follow up with that person. This is where the gold is. This is, I know it's not sexy. Um, I know you're probably sitting there going, mm, don't really want to do this. But honestly, this is what was going to really help you. And these are the tiny steps done consistently that will make a big difference to you in your business. For those of you that are watching, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, you know, tell me in the comments uh, box below, you know, I, for some reason I could never see the comments until the video has ended. Um, so I apologize for that. But I want you to, um, you know, just uh, that's the only action that I actually want you to do today is to just allocate 10 minutes every day. That's it. You know, I know when you've got tiny time, you probably sit there going, oh, I got 10 minutes. OK, five minutes, you know, but make sure that you are instigating a connection. Minimum one, instigate or follow up. And, you know, don't be sitting there thinking that I don't have I don't know how to do this. Go back over your contacts list. Go back over your LinkedIn connections, your Facebook connections, your Facebook group, your Facebook page likes. You know, go back over the people who are on your list who have um opted in for your free gifts, you know, who the most recent free gift that you've had, you know, I'm sure there's probably a stack of people in that list that you can actually just connect with. And remember, it's not about getting a result from that person, but it's about setting in motion a chain of events that will really be powerful in your business. And I really do believe it. it's about the energy that you're putting out there. Change your mindset, you know, be happy to receive those follow ups from the people you know, in your world and, you know, bless them and say thank you because they're showing you, um, you know, what it's like. And if you're the one who's responding going, then, you know, you're going to get that same response. So, you know, be that response that you want to see, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Okay. I can't see any comments coming through, but that, hold on, let me say, let me check on my, maybe they're coming through. see no I can't see any of the comments coming through so you're all being very shy but that's okay if you have a think about it pop your comments below and I will see you tomorrow for day four of five days of momentum remember this is all about tiny steps done consistently and I promise you you will build momentum and for those of you that are watching live, we are doing a live implementation session. So I'd love it if you wanted to join us. Um, I've posted the links in the Facebook group, the Tiny Time Tribe Facebook group. Um, and our next check-in as is at 11.30 a.m. So this is really for the people who are watching live because um, right now it is 10.52 a.m. Um, on Wednesday. Um, and so if you are watching, then, you know, join us at 11.30. I'd love to see your face, even if you just want to pop in and say hello. Um, but that's it for today's video. And I look forward to talking with you um, in the Facebook group or um, on tomorrow's video. All right, lovely. Take care. Bye.